A former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has labeled the United States Vice President elect Kamala Harris as the biblical Jezebel, famous for her wickedness and worship of foreign gods. Tweeting on Monday, November 9, Mr. Fanny Kayode, who has been outspoken about his support for the Trump presidency, claimed that Joe Biden Harris' presidency was a satanic one. I know Jezebel when I see her. Look into Kamala's eyes. Kabbalah plus Kundalini equals to Kamala. Biden is a puppet and a smokescreen. A Biden's presidency is a Kamala presidency. A Kamala presidency is a Satan's presidency. May God deliver, the ex-minister wrote. Fanny Kaode did not explain what that meant by Kamala and Kundalini, making up Kamala. The ex-minister had boasted in August that the Trump Mike Pence candidacy would defeat Biden and Harris hands down. Harris is the first woman, the first black person, and the first person of the Southeast Asian descent to become U.S. vice president-elect. She hit the landmark on November 7 after Biden crossed the 270 electoral college votes required to be president. On Sunday, November 8, Fanny Kaode went religious again when he tweeted about the death of Jesus and his resurrection on the third day. Even Satan thought he won until three days later, he wrote. His statements drew assumptions from social media users that the status quo in the U.S. could be upturned in three days. The former minister explained, meaning Jesus resurrected three days after he was crucified. It does not mean something will happen to Biden after three days. Point is as follows. Even though you already have buried Trump by January 28th, we shall see who is sworn in. Fanny Kayode claimed that Trump presidency is pro-Christian, is backed by many various works of life. On November 4th, Nollywood actress Rita Edochi claimed Trump's re-election would be victory for all Christians around the world. The controversial U.S.-based physician, Dr. Stella Emanuel, claims she found a cure for coronavirus in July also shares the belief.